This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. The death toll from the virus rises with pneumonia-like symptoms. Human to human transmission. Very serious public health threat. The number of known infections has risen sharply. 4,500 cases. A thousand people have died in the past 24 hours. There are more than 1.7 million cases of COVID-19 around the world. So let's get started. Every single image in this tutorial, I have downloaded from the internet. You can also download it by yourself. Simply go to the Google Images, and search for the coronavirus. Now click on the tools. Then usage rights. Here I am going to select the labeled for reuse with modification. This option will show the images, which we can use without any license. But make sure to check the website link for details. Now open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it an outbreak. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 15 frames per second, to get the choppy look. Also, the duration is 15 seconds longer. You are free to choose your settings. Now the first step is to import these files into your project. You can download them from the link in the description. Let's place the background music, as well as the pandemic audio file into the timeline. I have compiled this pandemic audio, by including multiple news audio clips. Hot diggity dog! Of course, you should check the audio usage rights before using it. Now press the spacebar key, to play the audio file. And this is how it sounds. The death toll from the virus rises, with pneumonia-like symptoms. Human to human transmission. Very serious public health threat. The number of known infections has risen. I think the voiceover is too loud. The death toll from the virus rises with pneumonia-like symptoms. Human to human transmission. Very serious public health threat. The no so let's select the pandemic layer and then press L to open levels. Here change the level value to negative 10. Play the audio clip once again and this sounds better. With pneumonia-like symptoms. Human to human transmission. Very serious public health threat. The number of known infections has risen sharply. 4,500 cases. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With thousands of classes in design, motion graphics, video editing, illustrations, animation, and more. With so much to explore, real projects to create, Skillshare empowers you, to accomplish real growth. You can check out this animation for graphic designers class on Skillshare, to learn more about animating a logo. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. Especially when compared to pricey in-person classes. So, click the link in the description, to get two free months of premium membership, and explore your creativity. Now select the first image layer, and place it on top of all layers. We need to adjust the size of it, so open scale, and change the scale value to a higher number. Let's fit the screen 100% to see all the gaps in our frame. I need to change the scale value to around 150%. It will decrease the image quality of course, but remember, we are showing the pandemic title, where nothing remains perfect. I mean maybe one. Let's add some animation to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the levels. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. I'm going to use this slider, to add a reveal animation. So let's do it. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then add a keyframe on the histogram. Then go to the 3 second position, and change the input black value to a higher number. Don't go over the value of 255, else it will become white. So I am using an exact value of 255. And it will look like this. 
I think we have added the reverse animation. We need to show the image from black to normal, so we have to reverse this animation. We can do it very easily. Simply press U, to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, and right click on it. Now go to the keyframe assistant, and down here in the bottom, you might not be able to see it. Click on time reverse keyframe. This is the only way. It will reverse the keyframe, and the animation is the same as we needed. Now select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Play your animation, and see if you like it. The death toll from the virus rises with pneumonia-like symptoms. I think the image looks too bright at this point. We don't need it to be that bright. So go to the second keyframe position, and then change the input black value to 75. And it is looking much better. Of course, everything depends on your taste. You should choose what you like. Let's add a mask on this image. Go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Make sure the image layer is selected, then zoom out a little, so that you can see the whole frame at once. And then draw a rough mask around this area. I want to remove this fourth virus image. Oh, you better be joking. Make sure to complete the mask, by connecting with the first anchor point. Now go to the timeline, and press M, to open mask property. Here change the mask to subtract. And this is how it looks now. If you zoom in a little, you can see the sharp edges right next to the image. So let's fix it. Select the image layer once again, and press F, to open feather. Here change the feather value to a higher number. Don't go too high, else the image will start appearing. I am using a value of 200. Let's add our text here. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. I am using this font for this project. You can download it from the link in the description. Now click here, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing tool, and then place your text anywhere you want. I'm going to place my text in this corner. Of course you should use a different position in each slide. Let's add some animation to our text as well. Let's find a point where you want your text to start appearing. I think the first second looks better, so select your text layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the simple choker. Apply it onto the layer, and then again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the Gaussian blur. You can use the fast blur as well. Place it right top on the simple choker effect, and then change the blurriness value to 5. We are trying to make our text a little unsharp. Now we will use this simple choker, to add the animation on our text layer. So let's change the choke mat value to 6. Make sure the text is not visible at this point. You can go with a higher value if you are using a different font. Add a keyframe on the choke mat, then go to around 3 second position, and change the choke mat value to 0. It will create this text reveal effect. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Now select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Cool. Let's add the flicker effect to it. Create a new adjustment layer, and place it on top of all layers. I am calling it light. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the exposure. Apply it onto the layer, and then we will use the exposure value, to add the flicker. Instead of adding multiple keyframes, we will use an expression for this. Adding an expression in After Effects is very easy. Simply press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard. Then click on this stopwatch icon. It will prompt you to add the expression in the timeline. In this expression box, type wiggle, bracket open, 15,0.5, bracket close. 15, or the first value represents the frequency, and the second value, or 0.5 represents the amount. In this case, I am going to use the value of 0.5. This expression will automatically change the value of the exposure by 0.5. Now check the animation, and see if you like it.
The death toll from the virus rises. With pneumonia-like symptoms. Human-to-human -human transmission. Very serious public health threat. The number of known infections. Let's add the expression on the position of the image as well. Simply, select the image layer, and then open its position. Now again press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and then click on the stopwatch icon, to add an expression. In this expression box, I am going to type wiggle, bracket open, 100 comma 2, bracket close. Again click anywhere on the screen, to eject from the expression box. Because we are using a position, so let's add the motion blur on it. If your switch tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, is trying to speak with the wall in this lockdown, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose switches. Click on this icon, to add the motion blur. And now we are done. You can follow the same step, to make more slides. Everything is the same, you can even change the position of the text, according to your requirement. So this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. That is the saddest story I've ever heard.